You are looking at a chart of Apple stock, which have hit new all-time highs today, up 1.2%, as you can see right now. And it is continuing its recovery from the dip that the stock had after the earnings and in anticipation of new products coming up. Welcome to Digits. My name is George Saul, filling in for Simon Constable. And we have a great show for you, including discussions about same-day eBay service and the top five tech stories of the week. But we start the show, as we so often do here at Digits, with a discussion on Apple and on the resurgence on the stock price. And here to talk about is Market Watch reporter Rex Crum. Rex, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? All right. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. So, so what's going on with Apple? What's driving this latest surge? <clears throat> yeah, what's driving it now is you know anticipation over what's going to come up next. Here it is. We're halfway through August. Probably in about a month now, if historical trends go, Apple will hold an event in which they'll show off something for the fall. And typically that's been a new iPhone. Uh, everybody's calling it the iPhone 5 so far. And this morning we had an analyst, Peter Misek at uh, Jefferies & Company, raise his price target on Apple stock to $900 a share, mostly in anticipation over uh, the iPhone, so-called iPhone 5, but also other things that we're calling the iPad Mini, a smaller version of the iPad, and a possible ITV, which is the name a lot of people are using for what's expected to be Apple's first real for foray into a television. Yeah, that, that was an interesting note from, from the Jeffries analyst. You know, he, he just quite casually raised a price target by $100, which would be a lot for, for many companies. But in this case, would only, it was only 12.5% from, from his original price target. But have we, do we really know anything new? It just seems as if it's all speculation and, and reports as to what Apple may be doing the rest of the year. Have we learned anything of substance that's new? Well, we haven't learned anything hard and fast of substance. Uh, the, the, Mr. Misek over there at Jeffries, you know, talk, cited channel checks in Taiwan and Asia, which say that uh, you know the iPad Mini, for example, is in production, the iPhone 5 is in production. So, you know, it, it's it's all kind of hearsay in a way, in that no one's actually said anything on the record. And of course, they're not going to because this is Apple. We're all just going to have to wait and see, and then they will tell us what it is they have and what we will want uh, with the next product release. Right, and we've seen this before with. Apple, where there will be a, a surge in the stock ahead of an event, and then you might see a sell-off after they unveil a product or after the earnings when um, uh, it, it, it may not live up to expectations or the high expectations that investors usually have. How high can the stock go? Well, wow, that's a really good question. I mean, if you just look at the last year, the last 52 weeks, it's gone from roughly $350 a share to almost $650. Today it was at <laughs> $645 right before we went on here. I mean, $300 is uh, for any company, even you know a company the size of Apple, that's a pretty big gain. And a lot of analysts think it can go even higher. You know, $900 a share today. There are a couple uh, analysts out there that think it's going to even get to $1,000. And you know, I I don't know personally how high it can go, but you know, the company and the stock has the track record over the last decade or so that kind of says, you know, look at how, look at how it's gone, and and it really hasn't really stumbled that much over the long run. Right, and and some of these specific. Um, things that are being highlighted as the new new products coming down the <clears> road has been a new iPhone, as you said, the new iMini, the new iTV. Is there one that people are more excited or, or anticipating more than, than the other? Well, I think the iPhone 5 is kind of expected because Apple, ever since the iPhone first came out in 2007, historically has updated it every year. So that wouldn't be a surprise at all. Uh, I think the real thing everybody's pointing towards now is the ITV, as it's being called, because you know Apple's done phones, they've done tablets, you know they've yeah, they've done music and music players. What can they do next? You know they always have to be looking for something a few years out that can you know keep their winning streak going. And there's a sense that they have already been working on a TV of some sort, uh, and that that could come out maybe in the fourth quarter of the year, probably more likely in the spring of next year. Right, and just to tease, I have a feeling that the news this week about the Apple TV might make an appearance in the top five tech stories of the week. You know, <laughs> it's interesting, this, this, despite the momentum in the stock, to, to, to some, they, they still say it's pretty cheap when you look at it on certain valuations. I, I guess so, and again, the run-up has shown uh, that you know whenever you, <laughs> whenever you've bought in, it looks like you haven't had a lot to complain about because it does keep going up. So you can, you know, if you'd bought it a year ago at 350, you might have thought, geez, you know, 350 dollars a share, but now you're pushing 650 and you're feeling pretty good about yourself. So you know, go figure. It just uh, seems to keep going. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty impressive 10, 11-year chart when you when you take a look at Rex. Thanks a lot for coming on. Appreciate mm -hmm. it.